Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a Gotcha Smack stream. I don't stream often, so this is a wild Smack stream. <laughs> Turn off your repellents, bro. There's a rare Pokemon sighting. <laughs> uh, we are the YouTube. This will be going up on YouTube. We are going to be experiencing Pinacone for the first time. Uh, I intentionally um, put it off just so I could stream it and hang out with my chat, man. My chat fucking. They get starved, man. I don't stream enough. So, yeah, I, I just want to enjoy this experience with you guys. We will be uh, listening to every bit of dialogue. I do have high expectations. I hope they're met. But I'm looking forward to it, man. Nonetheless. I will say, I probably need to... We got 165. Let's, let's get rid of this. Actually, you know what? Never mind. We're going to hold on to it, and hopefully we find that the new domain in Pinaconi. Because I want to grind that out. Okay, where the hell do we go? There's a lot of exclamation points, you know. And what's going on with this shit, chat? Y'all, I might need y'all to help me out with this. What is this? Mission index. Oh, damn. Bro, I need to hop on my free-to-play account and do this. Select joystick. What are we doing? Their invitation code. Bro, did they just give me some condensed ether? Ain't no way they just gave that shit to me. Yo, Smack, how you got any advice for any new CCs looking to get into the gotcha space? Uh, you, uh, AJ, honestly, that's a, that's a question for another time, brother. This stream is not going to be for that. If I if you catch me streaming another day, I'd love to help you out. But that's, that's a question for another time, my brother. It's, it's too broad of a question. Okay, what the hell do I do? Their invitation code? Um, boom. Did that copy it? Copy? Fellas, invitation code. Boom. Click on that shit for your boy. Invite a friend. I don't know if I'm doing this right. What is this? I, I am. I'll be honest with you. I, do, I hate this kind of event. Like. Because it's such a, like, you're such a foot soldier for Hoyoverse. You're a goddamn Amazon worker, bro. You're like a god. You're like a, I, I hate doing these, man. Uh, What do you press? If you press go, copy exclusive link. Think I got, think, dumbass event, think I got friends? <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck, fellas. I don't give a shit about this, man. I'll, I'll put it in chat just in case, but I don't give. Oh, damn. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that, man. Invite two friends. Okay. Damn, I appreciate that, chat. All right, we get another pull then, huh? Laro rated me. Oh, shit. That's Tecton's uh, roommate, huh? Hey, man. I appreciate that, Laro. Hey, I hope you had a wonderful day, brother. Thank you for it, man. I appreciate that. Hope your day's going well, buddy. Jay underscore boob just subscribed. Jay, man. Thank you for the prime sub, baby. I appreciate that. Bro, what the... What are these rewards, man? Listen, guys. I'm going to try really hard not to curse because I'm not... I'm not editing out curse words and F-bombs and stuff like that. <laughs> so we're going to try hard not to curse. It's probably not going to work, but we'll see what happens. Yes, I did. Uh, have a good stream, man. Yeah, you too. Uh, have the have a wonderful I'm night, LeBro. Thanks for the raid, baby. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll come back to that shit, man. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Trailblaze mission. Turn this up a little bit. Oh, I forgot they got this new story thing, huh? Oh, yeah, it's real nice, man. Hold up. Let me refresh my memory. Actually, what's going on over here? What is this? Available? What is, what is it talking about? Um, I don't know. I don't know why it has an exclamation point. That's bothering me, bro. All right, I'll do that on my own time. Wait, what? That's so cool. Yeah, they just added that in. They just added that in. Okay, where are we going? Let's do it. Got. Yeah, Black Swan. Holy. 
I can't. I, hold on, I gotta behave. My girl's in here. I gotta behave. My girl's in the chat. Bugs is in the chat. Am I blind? Where's the Where's the exclamation point? What's it Maybe I can talk to somebody here. You the message from the crew? Oh, oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> that's uh, that's such a Dan hung <laughs> response. What up? What up? Are we ready to set off to the next stop? We sure are. The warp jump device is all calibrated. But as the express conductor, I have three things I wanted to stress before we depart. Genshin could never. That's why I'm here for this little express meeting too. All right, then you know the rules. We'll meet in the parlor car. Bro, look at this. Holy hell. Wow. That's a lot of yapping, bro. Guys, that's a lot of yapping, man. <laughs> Pom Pom's not here yet. Yeah, let them Okay, chat. Listen, chat, I'll let y'all be the decider of this. One's in the chat if you're okay with Japanese sub. Two's in the chat if you prefer English. What's it gonna be? Normally, I don't do this, but I'm gonna let y'all choose. English? It's looking like a lot of people want to see it in English. Japanese is so much better. I agree, but if if the if the majority of chat wants English, then we're gonna have to do English, guys. Okay, so we'll finish this little bit of dialogue right here, and then we'll go to uh Yeah, it's looking it ooh, hold on. Some ones is making a comeback here. Now it's it's still looking like there were a lot of twos. Okay, I'll be honest, I'm a Japanese fan, but I know you guys don't want to don't want to read. That's the real reason you don't like Japanese. Japanese is absolutely better, but you guys don't want to read. Do a poll. Well, I'm 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 a Twitch boomer, so I don't know how to do a poll. I need to I need to add more mods so y'all can do the poll for me. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get through this dialogue. We'll figure that out in a bit. Apologies for the delayed, dear passenger. Something important came up, so I, the conductor, had to spend some time preparing. Okay. So what came up? うん。そんなに重要なことって何? Classic people not knowing how to read. You know, it's funny you say that because like, obviously I'm 31, man. And we grew up on the, the, the gaming era of reading. Like there, there was no voice acting. It was just dialogue. And that shit was peak. Wait, what, what is bro yapping about? Hinakoni is located in Asdana, a star system brimming with memoria, which has historically been one of the macro voids that leaked out from the memory zone. Even after eons, e eons, that's a long time. The memorial concentration up ahead is above normal levels. Okay, the memoria, okay. I don't really know what Memoria is, but I imagine that's just like some incredibly uh, potent space energy that'll just like completely obliterate you. <laughs> that's, that's how I translate that. That's just me putting two plus two together. This wouldn't be a huge problem, but everyone's different. So if you exhibit any signs of dizziness, hallucination, distorted memories, or any other symptoms, you should take you should take them seriously. We will switch over to English, guys. We just got to get through this dialogue. All right, just for the people who don't want to read. Pinaconi is a colony belonging to the Harmony family. It also marks the first time this family has extended a public invitation to other factions. Oh, wow. 
I didn't know that. This is the first time they've extended a public invitation to other factions. Ah. Huh. Please remember that the Express has been invited as a guest and that we must adhere to any and all regulations. Blaze, baby, thank you for the three, three months in a row, man. Witchy Train, thank you for the subscription. Yo, Sid Zagar, man. Hey, guys, thank y'all for the subscription. I appreciate it. Side Ziggin just subscribe. Oh, I said that shit all wrong. Side Ziggin, thank you for the subscribe. <laughs> okay, uh, third request from Pom Pom. Three hour story, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm serious. I took a nap and everything, guys. I'm ready. I'm literally ready for all three. Pinacone is one of the stops along the Silver Track several millennia ago. It was the IPC Frontier Prison, and it was the trailblaze that connected it to thousands of stars. Okay. Some pastors decide to call it uh, their permanent home. Just think of it as returning to your hometown following the Express's departure. The Stellarons cut off contact to Myriad Worlds and Pinaconi's ownership switched hands several times. Okay. Okay。<laughs> もう少し荷物の確認に時間をかけて。Holy <laughs> brother, <laughs> Damn. Dude, that shit devoured that four gigabytes. Yo, that's wild, bro. Where's my it's my it's my fucking computer, bro. Uh, boys, boys and girls, that shit is a Ferrari, bro. Wait, what? Do I gotta restart? I probably gotta restart it, huh? Bro was still speaking English. Let me see. Let me test it. How's it going? Oh, there we go. Ready? Damn, I'm gonna even have to restart, bro. We out here, out here. Bro, that's crazy. There probably won't be any surprises happening on family territory. Which is a bit of a shame if you ask me. But hey, it's rare that we can take a break and let loose. Let's enjoy it. I will say, when you're listening to English, it is cool. I don't like not reading something. I will admit it's it's a QOL. But I don't mind reading. But it is a QOL. I don't even have to like read. I just listen. <laughs> well, adventures are exhilarating, but rest and recuperation is equally important. I can understand why people like it. Rest and recuperation aside, don't forget Pom Pom's request. <laughs> the conductor has done plenty for us, and it's time to return that favor. You're the picture of calm, as always. Meanwhile, March 7th, buzzing around like a kid on a sugar rush. Not worth sacrificing the JP voice for me? I know, man. It hurts, dude. But hey, at the end of the day... That's what chat wants. I ain't gonna trip. <laughs> a punchline with a straight face. I suppose that's your specialty. 
but regarding the family's invitation, I do have some details that I wish to discuss with everyone, just not now. Let's enjoy our vacation for now. Hey guys, normally I interact with chat and don't get and don't get it twisted. I'll still be keeping up with what you guys are saying, but this this stream is is going to be a hard focus on the story. We'll only look at chat when y'all are adding something to the story or something along the lines of that. Other than that, we're not answering questions about, you know, whatever the hell y'all have. <clears throat> with uh, with all due respect, I I I'm, I'm genuinely about to put all my focus into this story. Better avoid chat for spoiler. Yeah, no, I did. Yeah, that, that's the other thing I'm gonna do too. You ain't lying, boy. Shit. Ah, I spoke to Mr. Yank. I'll be staying on the express this time. I wish you all a delightful time in Penacone. That means Dan Hung, his final form is too strong for the story, <laughs> so he has to stay out. Bro's too strong again. They they stay putting Dan Hung in the back because bro is too strong. <laughs> that's crazy, dog. Bro's Thank final you. form is too I much. I appreciate the invitation. But I don't like bustling places. And <laughs> someone has to handle the work on the express. Limited, Pay my no boy. mind to the matters concerning the Xianzhou. Penacone isn't the final stop on our trip. We have plenty of time. Once everything is packed up, I will naturally catch up with all of you. Um, I'd advise double checking your bags. Well, is strong too. Or it is True. that the family's customs procedure can be quite demanding. Better to sort it out now than face issues at your hotel check-in. But but well, like the you know he the uncle, bro. You know, well, gotta make sure shit don't go wrong. Also, that's that th there's that theory floating around that Will dies. I don't know how <laughs> how reliable that theory is. I hope that doesn't happen. Check. Nah, I'm playing. Extra Actually, I don't mind that. Check. Toiletries. Ah, drat! The travel bottles I ordered haven't arrived. Although I hear that Penacone's resort hotel is pretty luxurious, I'm guessing their toiletries should be just as fancy. <laughs> that means I can make more room in my suitcase. What else should I bring? Get over there, packing, packing. Take me. Guys, I wouldn't do something so provocative. <laughs> you won't fit in. Uh, maybe I should bring some novels or comic books. <laughs> At least then I won't be too bored while staying in the hotel room. But these books are so heavy. Aw, this is hard. What else should I take? It's about time. I should find a seat. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. What the hell is a warp trotter doing here, bro? This is the most random. Ahem. Hi. Hello. Attention all passengers. You already forgot? Hey, bro, memory of a chicken. Is Bubbles the one that was with me the whole time during the uh, Ethereum Wars? Is that what y'all are saying? The the trotter I had, like, as as my personal one, bro. I'm trash, bro. <laughs> How dare I disrespect my boy Bubbles like that? Damn, <laughs> ain't no way I'm out here disrespecting Bubbles like that, bro. The train is about to make the jump. All right, here we are. I love this scene. Oh, I saw that. Hey guys, let me know if the volume is, uh, ratio to my voice is good. I saw Acheron. Perfect. Okay, awesome. <sighs> Not another one. Bro, off rip? My girl was already here? Off rip? Yo! Yo! Ooh, ooh, little bro! Hey! It's not even that she's fine. She's just so cool, man. 
She's so damn cool, bro. Oh. Oh, man, dude. Like, imagine thinking she doesn't look good. Like, imagine thinking she doesn't look good. What is wrong with your brain? Come with me. Oh, I like her. I like her voice. Her VA. That's right. It's the Beethoven VA. These questions have no meaning, but I will answer you as best as I can. This is the border between reality and the memory zone. A dreamscape. Wait. Reality and the memory zone? Wait, so do you... I thought I thought you don't check into, like, the, the, the dream, like... You know, the dream vibe until you go to the hotel and go to sleep. Let me just continue on. Right this moment, you <laughs> and I have coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Coincidentally shared the same dreamscape and appeared in each other's minds. This is the Land of Dreams inaugural welcome for us. Oh my god, bro. I feel like I'm in for an, an inception ride, bro. What? I thought this didn't happen until you go to sleep. But we all we're already in it. That's crazy. Holy hell. Some people are more in tuned with the memory zone than others. Okay. Holy hell, bro. Worry not, for very quickly you will awaken from this dream. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Forget everything that has transpired with naught but a faint lingering of loss. Okay. Pay no mind, for this forgetfulness happens with each new dawn. It is an occurrence that we have become accustomed to for so Holy long. hell, she looks good, man. Damn, bro. Yo. So, come with me. I'll take you home. Meh. <laughs> Left, Oops. the end of the corridor. I will wait there for you. Oh, this looks nice, man. Holy hell, this looks nice. It already looks nice. Love the ambiance. Oh, oh, we're in here already. This is the room. Things floating up in here and shit, bro. Look at what, Beauty and the Beast. What's going on? Little Alice in the Wonderland vibes, bro. Fire looking real nice. Okay. What the hell is going on here? Bro, they got a key. Or I'm about to go into Kingdom Hearts. They got a key door. This shit is fire, bro. Okay. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. Okay. You can call me whatever you want. Welcome on in, Katiori. Open this door. Wells. <laughs> Take a look at the mesmerizing dreamscape. Bro, we really in here with some Kingdom Hearts doors. That's wild. It's the hotel? Oh, wait, is those... Is that a chair upside down? Yeah, this shit upside down. Ah, interesting. This is... Oh, no way. This way? After you. Am I supposed to walk up the wall? How is this even? Yo, this is a nice possible? introduction. I like this. This is a nice little introduction, Why man. Not? She can hear the thoughts in my head? <laughs> Why not? Dr. Ratio and Aventurine. Sam. And then I already forget the, the, the two bougie people, bro. I never remember their names. What chat? Help me out there. What's their names in the middle? <laughs> Sunday and Robin. Sunday and Robin. Okay, thank you. Thanks, chat. We're almost there. Can you still walk? Silver Wolf? Did I miss a Silver Wolf? Oh, who's that right there in the back? 
I see her too. Now I am... Now I am become Trailblaze, the perambulator of walls? Don't panic. What is bro this yapping is about? Don't stop. Don't turn back. Don't look down. Or up, for that matter. But I can look left and right. She didn't say I couldn't look left and right. Oh, they're so... <laughs> bro, why is she so tiny, bro? <laughs> Damn. Yo, bro. Sam is an absolute chad, bro. They're just Holy. shadows of the dreamscape. Bro you know, is an absolute chad, man. He... Dude. Bro, it doesn't get cooler than that, bro. Like, that's a boy's dream right there, bro. Every little boy at the age of five wanted to be this freaking figure right here, dog. That's insane how cool that looks. But <laughs> she looks like a... <laughs> yeah, so was adorable, man. Okay, hold up. I just realized I didn't even hit the dialogue. How do you intend to pull them off the stage? All we have to do is present the truth, and they will naturally reciprocate. Dude, 10 out of 10 uh, VA. I'm trying to see what that sounds like. I don't, they're not going to be able to give it away. I was trying to see if I can, like, maybe get a hint of his voice. Yeah, it's not happening. The Charmony Festival stage belongs only to you, little sister. But if I can't sing... What meaning does a stage have? Every time I see these two, all I think about is that freaking uh, music video. Sam sounds so cool. No, he sounds extra cool. He, he does sound like Zed, Skew. Zed's a little bit more eerie, but he does sound not so far. I mean, I'm barely into it, but right now I'm, I'm having a blast. I'm loving this whole... Their introduction was, was close to perfect for me. Like, they, they wasted zero time getting right into it. They got right in the soup, bro. They didn't let it simmer. They said, let's get into it. Okay, I'm eager to hear. Uh, you know what? I've never heard Dr. Ratio in English. Oh, yes, I have his trailer. But I haven't heard Aventurine in English. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Dude, his VA in English is so good. Wow, so good. Charming audacity to think that you of all people might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. Okay. I need I need his VA to I need to hear him speak a little bit more. It doesn't sound too bad now. It might grow on me. Vitrine sounds zesty, he did sound a little zesty. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, let's hear these two. Memo Keeper, do you think you can just leave? She sounds, that's actually a really good VA for her, I'll be honest, because she sounds trolly, a little crazy too. And still, and like, and like playful. That's like a, oh my, oh my God, like I think she did a fantastic job with that VA. That's good, it, it fit, it's very fitting. I'm sorry, the dance partner of my choice I've already chosen. I'm out of milk. Dave looking press. Dude, I do it just so I don't have to worry about my beard for a while. We're here. All right, where are we at? What's here? Welcome to the Reverie. May you experience an unforgettable holiday. Uh, <clears throat> if you need help checking in, please head straight to the concert. My boy, come on, man. Bro, what's going on over here, man? Look at this, bro. Nah, bro. Bro, at least put it right here, bro. Halfway, man. Come on, dog. Leave this realm and rise as like, that's you a little would on boy, any man. other day. Forget this fortuitous encounter and return whence you came. But before you do, I would make a request of you. Okay, hold up. Do 
You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude, but I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Oh, the good old have we met somewhere before. Oh boy. The good old have we met somewhere before. Perhaps we have. You evoke memories of an old friend. In the haze of my recollections, he crossed blades with me. Much like this surreal dreamscape where we stood close yet forever out of reach. Poetry for days. <clears throat> May I ask you a few more questions? I tend to forget things, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. The answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. I need to read that one more time. I tend to forget things, me too, which is why rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. Okay, the answer is inconsequential. Your spontaneous reaction is what matters. Okay, gotcha. Oh, response. For instance, when you awaken in your room, your lips speak several names. Are they your companions? Family? Enemies? You seem to have forged unbreakable bonds with many people and many incidents. Hmm. Several names. Well, right now we have Welt, Emiko, March, Dan Hung, Pom Pom. <laughs> That's not enough. Several names. Okay. Well, Might I, I ask if you fear <clears throat> losing these bonds? I was way off. It definitely wasn't the shit I just said. Might I ask if you fear losing these bonds? If it means that I will disappear, if it means losing them, I cannot bear such a fear. Hmm. Then, if there was a vast dreamscape, so lifelike it's indistinguishable from reality. There, no one faces life's separations or deaths. Everyone attains their deserved happiness and lives joyfully ever after. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. I would ask, would you wish to stay? I would no matter the cost. If it didn't have to pay any price, I would. That depends on the price I'd have to pay. Dead ass. I would never want to live in a dream. Yeah. True. True. People, people, yeah, this is one of those questions that you can answer too quickly. Gaver, thanks for the prime sub, man. Gaver underscore 14 just yeah. subscribed. I was waiting on Alpha to say, yeah, this is one of those uh, things that you answer too quickly. Uh, often at times, people don't understand that in order for you to truly appreciate happiness, there has to be a balance. There has to be uh, a opposite um an, an opposite reaction basically <laughs> there does so you can't be happy if you're happy all the goddamn time you literally can't you, you grow numb to that so that, that you have to have a balance a yin and yang so if you're always in that dream then you no longer view it as a dream anymore is what i'm trying to say <laughs> now imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Oh, shit, there it is. Friends, it is. family, strangers. I'm always angry. A gentle breeze, soaring birds, the stars, and ultimately yourself. Imagine if this splendid dream were fated to fall apart. Friends, family, strangers, followed by the gentle breeze, soaring birds and stars, and ultimately yourself, okay? Everyone and every face they remember, the joy and the heartaches, the vows sealed and those left hanging. All will inevitably march towards a predetermined ending. Damn. If you would grasp Your fate the journey's sealed. finale right from its inception. Okay. Uh, I know what in inception means, but I want to make sure I I explicitly know what it means. Zarag. Zarag Zero and Phoenix just subscribe. Hey man, thanks for the subscribe, buddy. Hold up. Let me see. Inception. 
Uh, let's get a better understanding of this. The establishment or starting point of an institution or activity. What? I did not know that was the definition for it. If you had grasped the journey's finale right from its starting point. Okay. Why the hell did I... What the hell did I think Inception meant? Interesting. Huh. Okay. Learn something new every day, boys. I would ask. Would you still <clears throat> embark on this journey? Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let fucking fate decide what I'm gonna do, bro. Oh, I already know. Like, I, yeah. It, as even if that is such a true concept, I still would try my very hardest to carve my own path. No, no question about it. I would abandon it. I have already tasted the beauty of dreams. I would abandon it. Trailblazing was never my intent. I would blaze a trail without hesitation. You see what I'm saying, baby? Yes. I know this is hard. You don't have to be hard-pressed to make a decision. As I have said, the answer is inconsequential. Mm-hmm. Hearing, touch, thought. Through these, you gain emotions. Cherish them. With emotions, we make choices. And so we return to the original question. Okay. I already forgot the original question. Uh, oh, are your seven friends your uh, enemies? I mean, are the seven people you named your friends, family, or enemies, I think? Is that what, was that it? I would ask. Oh. Do you still remember me? Oh, sh I seem to remember you from somewhere. Hey, man, forget y'all. No, this is the first time we've met. I seem to remember you from somewhere. I'm going to go with this. I don't remember you, but I want to, I want to think I remember you. <laughs> I understand. How interesting. For a split second, it felt like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. Like countless versions of you, alike yet distinct, gave entirely different responses. Man. That was my final question. Thank you. We all have our paths to walk. So we shall bid our farewells. You can press L for all the dialogues. Yeah, I mean, it ain't that deep for me, honestly. We will meet again. You haven't told me how to leave this place. We will meet again. The golden dream is getting restless. In the coming nights of long, I'm afraid you will face many tribulations and hmm. witness many tragedies. And finally, your sight will only see black and white. Hmm. But please believe me that in that monochrome world, there will be a glimpse of fleeting red. And when you make a choice, it will reappear before you once more. I'm like, ooh. What you must do now is ponder its significance. <laughs> and then you can return to the waking world. That's where we all find our answers. Damn. All right. So we we see some tears, a little little, little bit of waterworks going on there. Why are you crying all of a sudden? Somebody dying. That's what I got from that. Listen, I can't tell you who, but somebody dying. Ain't nobody out here just crying for no reason. I may have dreamed of a tragic future. I may have dreamed of an old friend. I dreamed of a Riddler spouting strange talk. <laughs> That's definitely what I'm going to say. I dreamed I was slashed by someone with a blade. I dreamed of a Riddler spouting strange talk. This is the most accurate. <laughs> Sounds like you had a nightmare. We just arrived in Astana and already... Uh, you should be careful. It's 
seems your tolerance to memoria isn't the strongest. Don't fret. Dreams are often the reverse of reality. While you were sleeping, the express arrived at Panacone. Let's Can go. Can you imagine? Yesterday's grim frontier prison is today's lavish hotel. I wish I could wander Panacone streets today, but I'm pretty train tied at the moment. Gear up and make sure you've got everything. And before you step out, swing by the back and grab March. She's waiting for you there. All right. Is March 7th still packing her luggage? I can't. I love hearing my, the freaking main protagonist's voice, by the way. Such a so refreshing coming from Pitch and Impact. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're up? How's your prep going? Welton Himeko beat us to the punch, but I stuck around for you. Let's get going. Hmm, shall we go meet up with them now? I'm ready to go. Wait. Nah, I'm ready to go. Let's go. The planet of festivities. The universe's biggest and fanciest amusement park awaits. Okay. That make absolute certain that y'all don't spoil me on anything. All right, please. Oh, we're here at last. Oh, the family sure doesn't play around with their entry protocols. Our bags probably know what it feels like to be a celebrity now with all that attention. I wouldn't have put it past them to try and nab that Stellaron from inside you. Uh, aside from that, I have to say the family has been really accommodating. Well, the hassle was worth it. Just look at this grand hotel lobby. Dude, that is a ridiculously rooms, massive hotel. All rooms, right? Just think of the number of guests staying here. I can honestly say I've never in my life been to, been to a facility that massive. <laughs> That's ridiculous, bro. I don't think I've ever been to I'm really trying to think. You're right, the music's Where nice. I like it. Rooms. Come on. Mr. Yang and the rest must be at the front desk. Let's hurry up and meet them there. Welcome to the Reverie. Us, Misha. May you experience an unforgettable Zebra holiday. Brain just subscribed. If you need help checking in, please Zebra Brain, thank you for the subscription. Bubba, you say you meet the whole meet the whole chat on accident? Yeah. Triple, thank you for the subscription. Hey, Misha has some incredibly peak freaking eyes. Triple underscore and just subscribe. Misha trying to get Sora to unlock the Keyblade, bro. Look at that. Got a key. Got a freaking Keyblade. Keep it. That's so cool. Wow. Honestly, if all I saw from Misha was just this, like this from the shoulders or mid bicep up, I'd be like, Misha's a cool character. But once you see them high ass shorts, that's when I'm like, come on, bro. Like this, this little dude gotta be like 13, bro. Gotta be like 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, if it's a grown ass man doing it, I'm okay with it. That's fine. I get it. That's a little boy. Come on, bro. I'm Misha, a bellboy working here on Penacony. Pleased to be at your service. If you need help with your baggage. Uh, over here. Something's not right. Should you need assistance with moving luggage to your room, feel free to contact me. Bro got a bow tie Please, on the backwards. Ahead. Don't keep your friend waiting. Hotel with child labor? <laughs> hey, maybe he on his grizzly, man. I don't knock the hustle. Dude, this, this place is cool. You know what, man? I'll be honest. This The faintest vibes of a Harry Potter vibe here. Just a little bit, you know? Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has been 
revolutionized and upgraded. It is now a massive hotel. <laughs> Alohomora. Like, this shit is cool, bro. Damn, bro. Anytime I see stuff like this, guys, I start to think, like, man, imagine we had this kind of shit in real life, bro. Look at that, bro. Off, off they go. Off they go, man. Just floating around, bro. I, like, how have we not hey, achieved this in real about? life yet, bro? We've just arrived That's and crazy. Drama? They really got just floating devices, bro. That's insane. Damn, it opens up into the sky, too. That's so cool. Yeah, dude, this place is insane, bro. Dude. How many people are here, bro? Peace. That's Peace. crazy. I'm sorry, but your name really isn't in the system. But in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already Holy. have the rooms. Please check again Kitty, for me. Kitty Ari, thank you for the 246 viewer raid. I appreciate it. Welcome on in, guys. We're just experiencing the story, man. Uh, peeps, be sure to give that person a follow who just raided me. Kitty uh, Ari. Um, man, I need to add some more mods, bro. Hey, Kitty, I'm so sorry. I'm a boomer. I don't stream a lot, so uh, I don't know how to direct people to tell you to be followed. But uh, thank you for the raid. All right. I'm sorry. Excuse my boomer mentality. <laughs> but in the information I received from the Astral Express, it states that we already reserved rooms. Please check again for yes, me. Yes, ma'am. Please give me a moment. The Astral Express for Platinum Guest Rooms, whose names include Mr. Welt Yang, Miss Himiko, Miss March 7th, and Mr. Don Hung. These are the only hey, names on the here. reservation list. Bro, I, I, I'm pushing 50. I'm 31 pushing 50. <laughs> uh, yes, your name isn't on the hotel's reservation list. That can't be a coincidence. I, I understand. No wonder our friend's name here is missing. When we responded to the family's invitation, he hadn't even arrived on the express. Whoa, I feel like that's pretty huge. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty huge, guys. So we had gotten this invitation before we even started the game, Hawkeye Star Rail. Right? Am I nuts? They already had this trip booked before we even started Hawkeye Star Rail. That's insane. <laughs> what uh, something came up in Don Hung's schedule and he couldn't make it. I love this music by the I way. I have an idea. Uh, Adventurous. Could you reassign his room. Refreshing. It's still the same number of people. Oh yeah, because Dan Hung ain't making the trip because he's just too incredibly broken. He's a new passenger aboard our Astral Express. We can vouch for his status. Music in Pentecost is peak. I like this song. It's a good beginner, but I'm not going to call the music peak yet until I've experienced the whole thing. But this shit, I, it gives me like magical vibes. You know what I mean? Like like Harry Potter vibes. I, even if that is so, I'm afraid. No Trailblazer profile. Show Architect's Lance. What the hell is an Architect's Lance? Oh, 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 the, oh, the Lance, the Fire Lance. Derp. No, I'm not doubting your status. <laughs> it's just... Well, it's just that right now we're on the eve of the Charmony Festival. Is that the boy? Pentagoni's most important That's the boy! Era. Yeah! And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thronged this place. Dog, Aventurine is my guy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's my guy. I'm looking forward to this man, bro. You have no idea. Look at this man's eyes, bro. He got the drip. I ain't gonna cap. I need to get me one of these shits, man. A heart in the chest. It's like, I like how his entire outfit has one of the elements of a card. You know, it's so cool. He's zesty. <laughs> All right, man. That's a spoiler in and of itself. Don't tell me what he is, man. We're on the eve of the Charmony Festival, Pinacotti's most important moment of every era. And with the family's invite, all guests from all over the cosmos have thrown this place. 
Well, hotel security is on high alert with zero room for error. And with such a last minute change. Oh, bro, Zesty. It really isn't something that this young lady's words can resolve on a whim. My esteemed guests from the Astral Express, please do not make it harder for her. I wonder how his, ja I, be I bet his Japanese VA is goaded. Let the we man are slay. Sorry for all the trouble our <laughs> check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for? Your hey, name? hey, if he gay, I don't give a damn, bro. Bro is still that guy. He is still that guy. We're sorry for all the trouble our check-in seems to have caused. Might I ask for your name? I am the humble adventuring of the IPC Strategic Investment Department, a non-performing asset liquidation specialist and subordinate to Supervisor Diamond. I was cordially invited by the watchmaker. <laughs> I also happen to be a traveler that's had to stand behind you for quite a while. Leave it to me. <sighs> I've heard that the IPC has also received Penacone's invitation. So forgive me if I'm mistaken, but you must be the representative. The IPC's elite I certainly forget. does have I keep an forgetting. extraordinary air about That's them. That's Topaz's guy. I, I keep forgetting. I suppose such an exceptional figure such as yourself wouldn't mind paving a convenience for us. I'll have to go listen to all the VAs in other languages later. I bet they're all amazing. Yeah, I, I wanted, I definitely, so whenever I, I'm listening to somebody who's, I'm not the biggest fan of their VA, that's the first thing I'll go and do. And usually, I'll be honest, usually the, J, the Japanese VA just never misses. If, if for me, for me personally. I, I must be hearing things. Paving a convenience? Shouldn't I be saying this to you instead? I've been waiting here for more than 10 minutes. Do you know how many credits 10 minutes is worth to me? Oh, bro, ain't, bro ain't about wasting his time. <laughs> yeah. Bro said, y'all gonna have to come off this, bro. Oh, shit, dog. Respect, Adventure. Let him know you don't play with your time, baby. Let him know. It must be an inordinate number, which is why now, Mr. Adventurine, I have an investment that you absolutely cannot miss out on. Bro said I'm not about to play with y'all, bro. The IPC's influence runs deep and wide, and their word wields the utmost authority. We hope to borrow your status to vouch for him. Damn, uh, bro, Himiko handled that with absolute elegance. As such, you won't just be sparing much of your invaluable time, but also forging new friendships. Be a smooth talker, boy. God, yeah. Yo, hit me. Man, hit me a bad red bone, huh? Well, she's not red bone. Bad red hair. She, she, y'all think, y'all think Himiko finer than Phoenix? I don't even know why I'm asking the Hoyoverse community that. You would, even if she wasn't finer than Phoenix, you would still say she's finer than Phoenix. <laughs> Well, this is interesting. And how will my new friends benefit me? Oh, bro, Zesty. Bro, Zesty as hell. Y'all ain't lying. <laughs> We're Himiko and Choyers. Yeah, and I can't even blame y'all. Truth be told, I'm a Himiko and Joyer, to be honest. Now, this is a topic very much worth getting into. Just as we bro, as a <laughs> degree in Zestology. Why don't we make ourselves comfortable in Penacony before getting to know each other more elaborately? <laughs> Sounds good. But, Miss Navigator, I must point out that if I do something about it now, the time saved is from my own effort, not a favor from you all. <laughs> bro is extra zesty, bro. <sighs> but, what you said in the second half, I loved it. Friends, yes. Nothing is more precious than friends, especially a righteous trailblazer like a nameless. I'm gonna keep it. A, I'm gonna keep it hundred percent, guys. I was not expecting my boy to be Zesterine, bro. I was. This is caught me all the way off guard, bro. I really gotta see. I really gotta see what like what he sounds like in Japanese, man. Wait till you see his final Zest form. <laughs> 
Zest Fest. Oh my god, dude. That boy Zestarine, man. Oh my god. Bro said, welcome to the Zestival. Yes. Yes, bitch. Yes. Going forward on this Panagoni trip, I'll be counting on all my trailblazer friends here. <coughs> Looking forward to a delightful time with you all. I'm glad you've put it this way. So about the vouching... There you go, miss. Please allow him to check in on my account. Put some zest on the respect. <laughs> I have an appointment with the family's Mr. Sunday. I will ask him to handle this matter later. Don't worry. I won't cause you any trouble. Help stop D. Welcome on in. And guys, thank you for all the follows. Thank you for all the, uh, the join-ins. I appreciate it, ma'am. Ali, just a moment. All right, now bro over here coming in, looking like a budget version of Buddy from Black Clover. The family cannot allow guests to enter a dream while bearing burdens. Oh, speak of the devil, look who's here. It's Sunday, the most handsome man in Pentecost. Along with a singer renowned across the universe, Robin. Hmm, yeah, my bad. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I, you know what I'm saying? Most handsome, that's a bit of a reach. I ain't gonna count. They kind of reaching on that one, man. Robin, Robin is pretty. I agree. Robin's gorgeous. She, she literally looks, she looks the part of like an icon, a singer, a, an actual celebrity. Bro over here, yeah, he just kind of looked like, you know. Bro, hey, hey man, thank you for the, thank you for the one raid, one viewer raid, man, I appreciate you. Bro on the left just looked like he just went to prep school, you know what I mean? He said you were the most dashing person in Pentecone. How interesting. I've kept you waiting, Mr. Aventurine. This way, please. I'll be honest Let with you. Let us speak in private. <laughs> I'm not a fan of their little, like, wings coming out. It looks, it looks dumb. To me. Astral Express guests, please come this way and rest your feet. Wait, what? Uh, oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, but are you the... the singer, Epsilon Superstar? If I can stop one heart from breaking, that's your song, isn't it? I never thought a cutie like yourself would be a fan of mine. Yeah, I knew she was a... I, wait, did I know she was a singer? <laughs> I feel like I did. Oh, it really is Robin. To run into her in person here. It is an honor to meet everyone. Are you also a member of the family on Penacone like him? <laughs> Truth be told, I am a guest like everyone. Penacone is my hometown, but I left when I was older. I was graciously invited this time to return and sing a song at the Charmony Festival. Bro, Welt really got that grown man energy, bro. That shit crazy. The person you speak of is Sunday, my senior, and one of the local leaders at Penacone. He is also the organizer of this era's Charmony Festival. He heard you all ran into some difficulties, and sent me here to provide aid. I wish, I wish I was listening to this in Japanese just so I could hear her say, the person you speak of is Sunday, my senpai. <laughs> That's what my senior is in Japanese, man. Alas, well, gotta stop leaving. Here we go alone for real. You make me nervous. <laughs> sincerely apologize for any unpleasantness during your Yo, that's stay. Daddy Mac Welt right there, bro. Oh, please, be at ease. I have <clears throat> instructed Miss Alley to resolve the system error as soon as possible. I have also upgraded your rooms as token compensation. Please wait a moment for the hotel to arrange for suitable accommodation. Mr. Aventurine has an appointment with the Oak family and has checked in prior. On his behalf, I extend his apologies to everyone of the Astral Express and wish for an amicable partnership moving forward. 
Thank you for stepping in to resolve this matter. But are you sure about the rooms? I wouldn't want your other guests to feel we were being given preferential treatment. Please, rest assured that the family will personally undertake communications to handle this. It is only right that we, as the actual administrators, huh. relieve you of any problems during your visit in Panacone. Bro, bro said administrators? That's crazy, bro. They got a lot of power. Administrators? That, doesn't that mean they have power over, like, controlling your dream? Like, that's insane. The place is based off of a dream, and they are the administrators. Like, that literally makes me think of Sword Art Online. You know what I mean? When he, when they met the, the, when he met the administrator. Was there another anime? Because there's two different animes that are similar. But, like, the administrator is literally the person who can, like, change the... He can change the very rules. It's insane. I'm telling you, like, that. that's, that's some serious... That's some serious power, guys. Tower of God administrators, yeah. Like, bro, that they can do some some real danger. I apologize for taking up everyone's precious time, and we shan't keep you any longer. If you need anything else while in Penacony, the family stands ready to serve. Could also just be a hotel admin. Brother or sister. The, the entire place is a hotel. <laughs> that's not... That's, you can't just, like nonchalantly say a hotel admin the whole place is a hotel <laughs> a hotel admin is broken may your dreams be beautiful and pleasant oh, it's just one surprise after another but since that mr which day was he sunday since mr sunday's vouch prison for us, admin true I guess we can finally check in place was originally a prison that's a good point I'm already a little winded. Are all the family names so strange? I hope we don't run into any more trouble. Oh yeah, this is a good question. Yeah, because what is what is up with those names? Well, uh, Robin's not that strange. Stage name, I guess. I thought so too. It's most likely some rule of Penicones or the families. Okay, there's no queue in the lobby now. Let's go find Miss Owie. All right. This is the first time I I. I when I first enter an area, uh, area, a new area, a new zone, this is the first time where I'm actually, like I go back into old school JRPG turn-based mode where I really do want to go look around. Like, cause you're, it want, you cannot relive this experience. This is why it's so cool when a new region comes. This is like a one-time only experience. And then everything becomes numb. All right. So tired. I'll never get enough sleep. I like what they did with the artwork for the chest. I really like that. Little okay, details like this contribute to the overall tour? freshness of going to a new region. I like it. That's cool, man. Nice little detail. And uh, this this little symbol it's on top on of it. Easy going, what is that? And clean. It's like a three-leaf clover. Grand Duke's robe. Here they go again, bro. Out here slanging me these three stars. Here they go again, man. Brother, I'm Trailblaze 70. What I'm gonna do with this? I'm in Endgame, man. Hey, bro. Hoyo doing Hoyo shit. Ain't no way. Bro, I'm about to hold up, bro. You know what? Hey, hold up. Hold up, brother. So pass, get your goddamn <laughs> Sherlock Holmes wannabe ass out here with, with Numby. I need Numby to get the clock in. Brother gotta go full time today. What we gonna do? We're gonna do Topaz, Ratio, uh, yeah and boom now i'm gonna need your little ass to clock in god damn it oh well got daddy well got all, all your shit huh 
Hold up. It should do it. Surely this game's AI is smart enough, right? Just surely. Surely. What the hell is this? Nah, bro. Ain't no hey. Give me my shit. Imaginary. That's not too bad. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, actually. Sure. Yep. 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 71 over. All right. We looking good. We looking good. How's she looking? Good enough. I'm like doing it. Okay. Yep. Clock in. Hey, Numby, clock in. See, look, 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 look. Now, how many of y'all don't want? Bro. Bro, if you don't get your fat head ass out the way, oh hell no, Numby, little bro, get your silly head out, bro. Come on, man, you making me look bad, bro. I was just about to pitch the argument to the. Ch look at this goofy ass little nigga, bro. No, man, <laughs> bro, I'm here not. This little motherfucker ain't even finding no treasure chest. Nummy. Nah, bro. They gotta fix this shit, dog. Nah, they gotta fix this, bro. Chat. Ain't no way, bro. What is he doing? Bro, I was just about to pitch why people shouldn't have skipped your little goofy ass. There's no way. They gotta, nah, they gotta update that. <laughs> I caught, wait, listen, I finally caught the developers lacking, bro. I finally caught the developers lacking. They gotta fix this shit, bro. There's no way. Bro didn't even, didn't, bro fat hit ass passed up a whole treasure chest. Man, I'm about to sub your ass back out, Nubby. I've been bamboozled, bro. That's crazy. That really is bad though, like. Why is it okay, that's close enough. Hey bro, you tried your best. You tried your best. He tried his best, guys. <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing, man. Alright, here we go. Esteemed guests of the Astral Express, your check-in procedure is complete. <laughs> Please forgive us for any previous inconvenience caused. This is your Dreamscape Pass. It serves as your hotel room key, as well as a directory of all the amenities and information you require at the Reverie. It even provides smart assistance. At the same time, it is also Penacone's special, one-of-a-kind souvenir that belongs only to you. You can use the Dreamscape Pass's provided clock-in feature to record every moment of your wonderful dream. Save your favorite happy bits and create a dreamscape scrapbook that is uniquely yours. Regarding the method of usage, the dreamscape pass will guide you through the process. I wish you all pleasant dreams in Penacone. You may take the elevator over there to reach your guest rooms. All right, let's move on. All right, let's continue on. Let's continue on. Dreamscape pass. You received the dreamscape pass. What's this? Okay. There we go. Welcome to Pinaconi. From the moment you set foot in the reverie, a splendid and dreamlike journey had already lifted its curtains. It is not easy to put down the hustle and bustle of real life. An extraordinary courage is also needed to make the choice to full-heartedly embrace the dream. We have the confidence to promise that, thanks to the family's most meticulous management, only sweet nectar and melodious tunes await you ahead. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. What is this? Please make sure you have already read the dream advisory. Oh hell! Oh no, we might we might find something up in here. Oh dog, I wasn't even trying to do that. You didn't even let me read. What the hell, bro? Hey, let me go back. <clears throat> All right. Maintain a calm mind 
Intense emotional fluctuations may cause unexpected sensations, bars, when entering the dream. All right. Please enter the dream lying on your back. Please do not attempt to enter the dream while facing down, kneeling, or other positions. This will minimize the risk of drowning. Yo, this is some serious shit. <laughs> Please do not ingest any hypnotics beforehand. Dreaming fluid in the dream pool is already a fast-acting sedative and does not need external pharmaceutical assistance. If you cannot enter the dream despite having soaked in the liquid for a long time, Please contact the hotel staff. Please do not enter the dream naked. Your initial appearance in the dreamscape is the same as how you entered it. In order to not startle other visitors, please enter the dream only after you have ensured that you are appropriately dressed. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Please do not assume the identity of another individual. The family respects every guest's identity and privacy. Please do not impersonate, attack, or defame other guests in the dream. They, they, that's for Sparkle. They telling that to Sparkle. On behalf of the Oak, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris families, we wish you happy dreams. Oh, wow. Hold up. So these are families? Oak, Alfalfa, Nightingale, Bloodhound, and Iris. Okay. All right. I'm going to forget that shit in about three days, except maybe Nightingale and Bloodhound, because those sound the coolest. But I'm definitely, I'm 100% for getting Iris, Alfalfa, and Oak. Maybe not Alfalfa. That shit reminds me of, you know, back in the day. During the present period, the Reverie Hotel and the Golden Hour Dreamscape is undergoing renovations. If you opt to enter the Golden Hour, you will still wake up in the hotel and the Dreamscape. However, you'll be unable to leave the room and cannot use the hotel's regular service. We have designated a temporary process to enter the dream for guests so that you may successfully land in the golden hour. We apologize for any inconvenience this has caused to your journey in the dreamscape. All right, new handbook page, unlock the reverie. What's this? Okay, another thrilling trailblaze expedition is about to begin. All right, yada, yada, yada. Aside from the riddle seeking men and women all seem to speak well. Speaking of it, it appears no one has kind... No one has asked you a certain question. What kind of trip do you... Right, what? What kind of trip do you... Oh, enjoy. Straight toward local tourists. Slumber the day away within the room. Man, that's the laziest shit I've ever seen. And I can only imagine how many people chose this. Follow the passing currents of other pedestrians. Nah, straight toward local tourists. I would... Tourists. All right. Maybe you should reconsider your personal purpose and make yourself a man that offers novelty as their worth. You can decorate the pages of your handbook with collected stickers. All right, during your exploration of Peter Coney, you will come across various stickers for collection. All right, use sticker. And I'm supposed to put this somewhere? Is that a goddamn Pokeball over here, bro? All right, well, I'm gonna put... Put little bro over here in the corner. That's the ass of it. Oh, you can make it... Oh, here we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. That's my first picture. All right. Cool. All right. This is like royalty, so they're going to go over here. <clears throat> Him and old girl. All boozy and shit. So I guess I'll put them over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, boo da boo da boo da boo da boo da boo. There we go. And then, I guess that's all we got for now, huh? Okay. Wait, what happened? I might mean to do that. Hold up, hold up, OCD. I collect this real quick. All right. Hey, what's all this? Please make sure to collect the rewards you received in the festival invitation. Oh, that's the shit I did earlier. Nice. Okay. Now, what are we doing? Going to the elevator. That's right. A dream world. Is this the account you pulled the early world on? Yes, it is. This is my main account. I'm probably going to go back through this in the Japanese on my uh, free-to-play account on my own time, though. Just so I can hear uh, Venturine and people, other people. All right. Our rooms are down this way. This is a long hallway. 
Sure is. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? There you go, Numby. Now you clocking in. Now you clocking in, bro. Running into walls and shit. Little goofy ass. I ain't gonna lie, Numby really is a door. Yeah, little bro be putting in the work, man. Oh, new, new themes. Damn, Nubby! It was quick with it, bro. You remind me of that little creature on the uh, the prequel to Harry Potter. Hold up. Yeah. Nice little jazz. Okay. Cool little song. It's not blowing me away. I like it, though. Hey! Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. That's right, they only doing the Soul Glad. I thought she was about to have a drink for real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trying to Mac, trying to put the game on my boy and well. <laughs> Daddy Well trying to slay that dog. You know what I'm saying, chat? <laughs> get up in there now, Well. Hey, get in there, bro. Get in there. You know what I'm saying? Well, I feel you, brother. Himiko over here making moves. We may be thinking of the same thing. Well, it has a whole fam in Honkai, I think. Little do you know, though, he also got a whole dog in him. <laughs> yeah. Well, got that dog no, in him. Bro, bro got the dog in him. Dog. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> okay, hold up. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? Uh, the family's esteemed guests ah. are cordially invited to Benicone Jim and I to, to the court. Thank you for the prime sub, baby. In our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the watchmaker, father of Penicone. And thus, the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the watchmaker. Okay, uh, that watchmaker shit is serious. And father of Pinaconi. And thus, the answer to the question, why does life slumber? Yeah, bro, these, these speaking of riddles, man. I ain't even about to try. <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. Welcome in, Crusader. Welcome in, Crow. But the box that was sent to us was slightly unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the express made its warp jump. Also, the express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. Give me the bug. I'm not. I'm not picking up what she's putting down. All right. They're still speaking in like you know riddles and shit. A distress call method regularly used by the nameless. Okay. There we go. Thank you for t thank you for laying it out for me. Well, I appreciate it, baby. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. Okay. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. Now, which masked fool would it be? Sparkle or Tompo? When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. 
It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting my boy Gallagher. Because they keep saying watchmaker, and then I remember that picture where Gallagher had the watches all, or the clocks all behind him. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the uh -huh. actual See? administrators. I ain't mentioned it. I ain't. Well, it I'm glad you caught it. Leave us of any problem. Hey, gl well, I'm glad I wasn't the only one that didn't miss that part, brother. Actual administrator. I knew it. Motherfucker is suspicious. In hindsight, there was more. <laughs> To that statement absolutely he also had miss robin with him i'm no singer but her voice sounded a little strange would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape oh i ain't gonna lie i missed that part if they if they did yeah i don't i missed that part her voice sounded fine to me are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us okay so now they foreshadowing this shit now we're okay it's possible the fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual and your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved i take back what i said this event is becoming more interesting with each passing second hmm why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why, before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so I was the only one kept in the dark then. Did my boy, why y'all do my boy well like that, man? Hey, listen, I'm on well side. Come on, man. Don't be doing my boy well like that, bro. He's the real main protagonist. Ain't no biggie when Galactic Baseballer is in the house. <laughs> uh. Panacone's situation is getting complicated. Let's tread lightly. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penicone? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? There are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. So they're setting the stage right now and informing us because somebody like me couldn't put the clues together you know what i mean basically i'm too damn dumb so this is they generally do this in hoyoverse games where they like in case you're still confused and you don't get what's going on allow us to pretty much give you the gist who sent the invite what's the purpose of gathering all the factions in the peanut county why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this there's too many unanswered questions we must use the utmost cost before we go deeper right now <clears throat> let's just focus on the conductor's request we'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation Penicone is after all a famed resort of the cosmos not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime yeah. head back to your rooms get some rest and prepare to enter the dreamscape it's time to head oh. back to my room ah, bro, before no, entering bro. the dream i should bro probably is constantly to trying to fight a battle bro little bro we not fighting battles today man why I is him at least he got out of there this time. <sighs> it ain't much, boys, but it's honest work. It's honest work, man. You know, he's, he, he's giving it his best. I'm... <laughs> He's supposed to be finding the treasures, but I'm the one finding the treasures. <laughs> God damn it, Humpy. Come on, man. Thank you, little bro. Thank you, little bro. I appreciate it. So why are we not supposed to skip Topaz? Hey, listen, bro. We're just going to put that one under the rug, all right? We're just going to put it under the rug. Can't wait to experience the dream world. 
Dude, that shit is so fire. I'm not gonna lie. And co like Kokomi about to pop out that bad boy. That's enough chit chat about Robin, about the event. Where, where are you thinking of going? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious. Uh, the moment of dust, <laughs> obviously. How can you not visit the shopping paradise when you're at the resort of all resorts? I'm all ready to fill my bags to the brim. Hmm. After doing my shopping. I'll get all dolled up in an evening gown to attend Miss Robin's show at Petticone Grand Theater. All right. Ah, uh, don't worry. Welt and Himeko will have our backs if things go wrong. All right, so she ain't really doing nothing. Odd. Why is my room door open? Venturine in there trying to be all zesty, bro. Come on, Vince, man. Bro out here. <laughs> Zesterine, bro. Let me see what old, good old Zesterine over here talking about. He's... How fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. This is my room. What are you doing here? Yeah, that's the perfect, that's the perfect question. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. Zestive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. You were the one who transferred it to me. You were the one who arranged the check-in. Well, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Nah, bro. Come on. Number down. Relax, bro. Relax, little bro. It's not that deep. You were the one who transferred it. You were the one who arranged the check-in. No, no. I only let you have my room. Panacone's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the Reverie? How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the Reverie? Like going to Willy about Wonka's the type chocolate of factory. Who can even afford to stay here? If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? Oh, bro is pompous. Oh, bro is extra pompous. So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Yep, that's true. Ah, cutting to the chase. <laughs> I like that. Oh, shit, man. Guys, holy zest, bro. <laughs> Simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not <laughs> know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. I wonder if, I wonder if what he's getting at is, I wonder if the IPC funded them to take the place from being a prison to being a hotel. I can only imagine the uh, the amount of overhead, you know, such a drastic change costed them. I would imagine the IPC probably had a massive, uh, you know, part in the the renovation of the place, basically, because it was a it was a prison and now it's a big ass hotel. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. <clears throat> you possess a distinct quality. 
so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? I mean, of course you know, you're with the IPC. I'm warning you, you need to leave right now. I'm not saying that cringy ass shit. Oh God. <laughs> I know now. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it Hate will it? also Nah, I just don't give a fuck if he knew or didn't know. Value. Doesn't make a difference to me whether he knows. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. Holy zest. I cannot make this decision on my own. I will think about it. Now, now it's appropriate to say you should really be going. I already said there's no rush. This zest level is over 9,000. Because no matter what happens, the outcome will remain the same. I'm so, so eager to hear this man's Japanese VA. Oh, it's yes. probably Before I go, so much better. Let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality. And it's so much better. It's not even funny. Things. A chip is tossed into the air and in the blink of an eye, it disappears. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. I mean, don't get me wrong. This guy is a fantastic VA as well. No, no disrespect to the person who's doing his English VA. Um, but I just want the Japanese VA. I just want to hear what they because they they just. Uh, I'm just a fan of Japanese VAs. I'll just keep. And like, even if the guy is is gay in Japanese. You know what I mean? Or super zesty in Japanese. You don't get, you don't hear that, right? So it's like, it like preserves the image of the character and I'm able to take them more serious because he sounds so damn zesty in English. I can't take what he's saying serious. That's pretty much what it is. The zestiness is like, it's making it difficult for me to take what he's saying serious. That's, that's literally it. That's what's ruining it for me. It's not that I have an issue with him uh, sound exactly. It's the it's the fact that he's saying some really serious stuff right now, and I can't and I can't take it to that level. <laughs> get ready, I'm about to reveal the answer. <laughs> no, I didn't get your answer, oh, but that's fine because friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choice. Hello. There. Why bro put glasses on? What are you doing? When he put In the glasses on. In her room. Your room. Damn, things just got interesting. Bro put some glasses on just to take them off. That was the most extra zesty shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Like, that's what you do when you first get introduced, when you walk into the room, you know what I mean? Like, oh, here's the Venturini, and he takes them off. Bro, put glasses on just to walk up to you. <laughs> nah, bro. Chad, ain't no way he did that shit. <laughs> oh my God, man. That's so crazy. All right, guys, I got to take a piss. I'll be right back, man. In fact, did I drink? Okay, yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm going to make me some whiskey because this shit about to be real entertaining for the night, guys. I'm going to make me some whiskey, take a piss. I'll take a quick break. I'll be right back. Continuing on. 
<laughs> Johnny Walker's your shit. Well played, friend. You haven't been in Penacony long. If bro says friend that hard one more time. Rope people into your cause. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. For this place runs deep with plenty of unsavory. Bro's characters. pronouncing every letter. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. Bro's supposed to get along. <laughs> Have we met? Oh, that's right. Thank you. You are. Have we met somewhere? Hmm. That's right. We're not supposed to remember her. I forgot about that. You are. We met somewhere. Why haven't you left? This is my room. Why haven't? Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. Why haven't Joe has left? Why do I have to? <laughs> I love Akron already. <laughs> I was just teasing. Please forgive me. This is indeed your room. I saw that man snooping about while I was in the hallway. It didn't seem like he was searching for his own room, so it made me wary. And the, she's a galaxy ranger, and their job literally is to eradicate evil. So it makes sense that she has this, you know, this bit of virtue in her where she's like, justice, or like, oh, that, look, that guy looked like he's up to no good. It, it's fitting. It's fitting for her. I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. He was wearing a tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this. She was walking by and she was gonna mind her business, but she heard how hard he said friend. <laughs> she said, on. That's that's way too sus. Let me see what's going on, bro. Let me back this dude up. She was in minor her whole business chat and she and she heard friend. <laughs> She saw him take the glasses off. She said, nah, this, this motherfucker too extra, bro. Let me let me see what's going on up in this room real quick. <laughs> she said, did he just put glasses on to take them off? Oh, nah. She smelled the zest from the hall. <laughs> ah! She said, this looks suspicious, bro. Let me go check this out. This is a little too zestitious. Anyway, as long as you're all right, I should return to my room too. Before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it's somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know. All right, Akram, you asked a little bit too many goddamn questions. Have we met somewhere before? Whoa! Perhaps in a dream. I was about to ask too. Probably not. Deja vu. Yes, it was a dream. I had a dream on my way here, and, and I think you were in it. Blink of a thought in my head. Oh, Acheron, so goddamn fine. Oh my God, bro. Lord have mercy. Goddamn, chat. This is your name, isn't it? That is my, I can't, nice to meet you. Well, I can't wait to pull her, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember. Marco, the best girl, not even ago. fucking close. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. What she's saying is she has the intuition that me and Tech have. Where you can see through the bullshit. <laughs> That's interesting. Speaking of which. Oh, uh, okay. 
Hold on, give me a second. Oh, fuck, I'm too busy. Damn, I can't check that out. Just give me one second, guys. Hulk. That's your brother. Check right now. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Continue on. Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, Zesterine is looking hella uh, sus. One who wears a blade must use it to cut eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. Yeah, sounds about right. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Damn, that shit is gangster, bro. I didn't notice that, bro. Yo, that mask is so player, bro. The onigiri. Dang, bro. Look at that shit down there, chat. That's so freaking cool, man. Oh, dude. And you know why I'm even so happy about it? Because, um... That means she's going to have, like, a, a Onigiri type of, like, play style. Is it Onigiri? Is it not that? What is it? What is it? Hold up, bro. All right, correct me. What is it? Hey, man, fuck y'all. That's food? All right. Oni? I feel like it's more than just Oni. Damn, that shit is a... That's a sushi, ain't it? Yo, that's a sushi, ain't it? It's a rice ball? Oh, it's a rice ball. You know what's you know what's even more sad about that chat? You know what's even more sad about that? It's I was a I was a waiter at raw sushi for like two years back like back in the day. Back in the day. I said back in the day, okay. Back in the day, I was a waiter at raw sushi for like two years. That's what makes that even more sad. Crazy, man. Acheron left. Strange. <laughs> I can't shake off this odd Fuck feeling man. I have. <laughs> uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? <sighs> Wait, what the hell? She's still here? Oh, did it start over again? Oh shit. She's about to be like, she's about to pretend like this is the first time, or not pretend, she's probably gonna act like this is the first time they've seen each other again. Mm. Sorry, can you point me in the oh, direction? Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Damn, I was about to say. These hallways really look the same. I thought it was gonna be one of those. Yo, I thought it was gonna be one of those, bro. It's over. That is a Zoro moment. Time to work the dream pool according to the dreamscape passes instructions. Hey, we got a new picture. Yep. Oh, I already know where I'm putting her. I know exactly where I'm putting her. Yes, sir. Come here. Yep. Make her as big as possible. Boom. Right there. That's where she's going. Everybody else going to go around her, bro. Y'all don't even matter. No, I'm just gonna put it right, right here, bro. Yep, that's my boo boo. That's my boo boo. Maximum size, yep. Yeah. Maximum effort. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. What's my shit looking like? One eighty-three. Okay, really good. You approach the dream pool and hear the sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room, fragrance permeating the air. Together, these two elements envelop you in their embrace. The scent is sweet, profound, and luxurious. 
reminiscent of ripened fruits in a distant ocean painted by the hues of a setting sun. The singing in the air is a little sus. You know what I'm saying? Sweet voice of a female singer coming from all around the room? Oh, what are you telling me that Robin has like wait her name's her name's Robin, right? Sunday and Robin? I already forgot the bitch's name. Anyways, are you telling me she has like some power with her singing? You curl your body is is her singing? A catalyst for the dream? Dude. That's insane. If that is the case. Damn. You wonder what dream you'll delve into and slowly drift into drowsiness. Dude, these cutscenes, man, I, I appreciate it. They're coming in abundance, bro. This is really cool. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Just you hear the same focus thing? on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Ah, uh, bro, y'all said there imagine was some singing. A dreamland. <laughs> My boy! Uh, what is it, Ratio? Why the long face? The goat! Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? He's talking about his mask? That's the boy, man! I love me some Ratio, bro! That's the boy! You're late. By four minutes and 16 seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. Bro, I love this guy so much, bro. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> Yo, bro said I smell a snake from a mile away, baby. You might be able to fool them other niggas, but you ain't fooling your boy. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Ratio, bro. Bro, look, look, ain't nobody about to out pompous ratio, bro. You not about to out I'm that guy ratio. <laughs> nobody is doing it, bro. He gonna top your top, bro. That's crazy. Back home to tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. Yo, I love this man, bro. Oh, it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? Damn, bro, cutting deep. Bro, cutting deep, bro. Holy shit, bro. He went straight for the jugular. <laughs> you're funny. I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Penacone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. Hmm. 
Perhaps Pinaconi might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. Okay. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite. And they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the planet. Acquiesced, I like that word. Well, regardless, be it the family or the watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. They did say that was his personality. Get to the point. What's your plan? I can't stress to y'all enough how much how much I love ratio. <laughs> well, no need to expand on that. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. Why you gotta say it like that, bro? Why can't you just be like, it's not time to reveal my trump card yet, guys. It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sigonian upbringing? Then, do you trust He's me? saying that inside of his head. Saying that inside of his head. That's why his mouth's not moving. That depends Wait. on you. Wait, never mind. What the hell? You're right. Why was his mouth not moving? I thought he was saying it inside his head. That was... Okay, so that was a bit of a glitch. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now, that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. I can, I, I, I could have called that. Pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. As zesty as Aventurine is, you gotta keep in mind that's just the voice actor, but everything about him and the things that they're discussing and saying, it screams that he came up, he, he grew up rough. It screams that he, he got it out the mud. It screams that he had to, had to play hard. You know what I mean? Apart from all the zestiness. So I, I can totally see that. I did not mean to offend. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. Holy treasure chest! The Annihilation Gang, I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty. Damn, I forgot all about them. Answer. I forgot all about for them. the bunch at the tavern. Knights of Beauty. The bunch at the tavern. Oh, that's Gallagher. That's got to be Gallagher at the tavern. I can't wait to meet my brother. I can't wait to meet my brother Shanks, who never left the bar and kept drinking. Budget squall, retired squall. Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt off. That was the fools? Oh, shit. Huh? Oh. <laughs> well, you don't really disdain me that much. Bro, hit him with the Batman! Bro, hit him what? with the Batman! Goodbye! Seems like I'm on my own again. Ray, she so funny than a mother! <laughs> Bro, hit him with the. He hit me with the Batman! Goodbye! I look back, he was gone. Damn! That's a smooth mother. Oh, that's crazy. Damn, that's funny. So this is... That's how I am at every party, guys. I never say goodbye. Every single get together. If you invite me to a get together and people get my friends get on me about this. Like, they'll, it's so bad that they'll be like, John, make sure you say goodbye before you leave. <laughs> I be hitting motherfuckers with the Batman goodbye all the time. It's called the Irish goodbye, actually. <laughs> I hate saying goodbye, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me go around and say bye to everyone. I'm out, bro. <laughs> they be like, damn, bro. This motherfucker John just left. It's something else. The atmosphere here creeps me out. Do you make yourself a plate before you leave? What was that weird noise just now? You know I make me a plate before I leave. Come on now, goddammit, boy. <laughs> Come on now, man. And you know this. A note? 
every job before you mm, where he go oh the impossible can also happen in dreams find it and then you shall be granted an audience this way can you see me over here please come this way i thought i heard ah you're here wonderful i'll be honest though guys if i make oh, a I... plate before Is i leave i will absolutely say goodbye my my uh my my ethics my morals and ethics wouldn't allow me to just dip if i made if they if they got some food and i just dip out <laughs> that's rude as hell bro welcome to the gallery of thoughts you can think of this as the entrance to the golden hour i'm huh you remember me i'm so glad this is a temporary interchange so it looks a little rundown the reverie in the dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. What's with all these floating like devices and stuff? Don't get me wrong. It definitely adds to uh, the fantasy aspect, the majestic vibe. But what's the I, I don't think they've explained it. I apologize for any unpleasant. Or if they have, it just went over my head. But if you enter the golden hour, I know it's a dream world. But still, all your troubles will dissipate <laughs> in an instant. You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. Behind this door is the real Venaconi. I'm looking forward to it. Am I pulling for Akron? And does she need Sparkle, brother? I have no. I, I. How am I supposed to answer that for you, bro? I don't look at. I don't look at leaks this early. I don't even know what the hell she does. I just know she's a Nihility Lightning character. Oh damn, bro! These cutscenes, man. So many of them. That's so cool. This is so freaking cool, man. Dude, that's like, what, five cutscenes? Damn. I was not expecting that. Oh, What's that? <laughs> the Yamcha, bro. <laughs> huh? Oh, my God, dude. The Yamcha post. I wasn't expecting him to actually crash. That's crazy, bro. Like, I thought he was gonna, like, boom, you know? Like, you know, right before you fall, some, like, stuff happens to break the fall. Bro actually ran straight into the ground. That's crazy. <laughs> the are we in heaven? <laughs> well, you are in the dreamscape after all. Bro always got his hand behind it. Bro think he's so elegant. <laughs> Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. I, I, I do. I will say the fact that they're already there waiting on him in the dream world. Yeah, bro. They, they, these two are sus, bro. Leave it to me. Robin gives a slight nod to her brother, then locks her emerald gaze with yours. She smiles. And you see ripples shimmering in the depths of her late green eyes, followed by a mighty vortex emerging from the depths of the pool. Yeah, these two sus, man. Your vision dims as your body dissolves, becoming one with fluidity of the time space. You resonate with and become attuned to the serene fusion of frequency. Your heart drums, leading this symphony. Don't worry, just relax. Bro got the meanest headache of all time. Inhale. Now exhale. Instinct compels and the stagnant fluid in your chest begins to flow again. A gentle warmth emanates from within, saturating every inch of your being. Your melodies slow down, fade away like a lullaby. A seven-colored illusion delicately caresses the top of your head and closes your eyes. Its movements tender and compassionate. You feel contentment and drift into a deep slumber. 
Open your eyes and feel a vitality like no other. The difficulty you were experiencing a moment earlier feels like a distant, a distant memory. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. Yeah, bro, did you just brainwash me? I merely changed your state of mind for you to feel more at ease. <laughs> you telling me? You telling me? She got the power to change my state of mind? Brother, sister, what? Nah, bro, these two are not to be trusted. I merely changed your state of mind. I love how they just say it nonchalantly. Like, yeah, don't worry about that. I just changed. I just changed how you feel, bro. Relax. Just Look. did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Relax. Be a mindless puppet. Don't worry about the fact that we pretty much control everything you're able to do. Essentially, the dream of Panacone is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water. But once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Thanks. That is a great comments. analogy. In fact, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the Momoria. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the Memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Mm. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Mind him. He's always like that. Please enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast. Alright. Now where's Clocky? Awesome, we can send messages even in the dream. You there yet? Yep, I'm there. That is cool. That is really freaking cool, honestly. You still can chat with your friends in the dream dream world? Wow. Just got in touch with Himiko and Mr. Yang. They all went to different dreamscapes. I'm at the moment of dusk. I'm planning to check out the auction. It's going to be a pain to meet again, so why don't we split up for now? I will say that's also kind of weird. I heard the dreamscape sell store. There's a super famous. Can you please check it out for me? Pretty please. It's really fun. Then I'll head over there. It's still kind of weird that you can ch you can text people the dreamscape sales inside of a dream. Should I visit it? Yo, uh, I'll take some days. This place is bustling. There are so many people living in the dreamscape. Okay, let's take it all in. Holy! I'm gonna take that all in too, god damn it. Bro. <laughs> bro, they nerfed the hell out them cheeks, bro. That shit is depressing. Now seriously though, check check it out. <laughs> Guys, don't take don't take topaz. You know what? How about we just uh there we go. Damn, that's a big ass ceiling. Yeah, this is really nice, man. Her model wasn't changed. Oh, yeah, sure, buddy. That was her tucking her waist in. Sure, buddy. Cope harder. Cope harder, why don't you? <laughs> Whatever you say, bucko. All right, Numby. Oh, snap. What is this? That's cool. Okay. Yo, hey man, this damn, this a fire ass whip, bro. Wasn't they riding in this bad boy in the music video? Yo, holy Batmobile. Damn, bro. That's look look at look at the bro, what? 
The tire is facing the ground. That's crazy, brother. We need to get one of these shits in real life. That's the car? Yeah, man. That's that's it. That's the that's the one right there, bro. And let me yeah, let me do a little investigation. Is the epitome of showcasing your class. It's the epitome of showcasing class. So of course they were driving in this shit in the music video. Like, bro, what the hell, bro? That's insane. Got the goddamn Tesla charge station and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh shit! Rules are made. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Damn! Why bro just run me over like that, huh? Yo, this place is cool, man. Chad, I'm not gonna lie. This this place is really cool. What what what, motherfucker? What you wanna do? Nah nah nah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy, bro. What's up, mother? Surprise, man. <laughs> Yo, that's so cool, man. Look, Grand Theft Auto going on there, guys. That's crazy, bro. All right, what's going on here? I mean, hey, actually, you know what, man? I'm balling on a budget right now. We're gonna come back to that one. I'm balling on a budget right now, guys. All right, can't afford it. Way that my bank account is set up, you know, I, I can't afford it, bro. Oh, interesting. I wouldn't have known that was breakable. Brokey, <laughs> fuck you, man. All right, Nubby, lock in, brother. We can do this on my off time, honestly, man. Numby, thank you. We'll do it on our off time. Let's stick to the story. We already got a long ass story ahead of us. Like all them treasure chests another time. <clears throat> all right, let's continue on. Wait, did that billboard just move? A billboard. Oh, that's right here. That's an easy scoop. Okay. And now that I know those can be broken, getting the mats over here already. That's pretty cool. Numby, give it a rest, buddy. Now you're at. Oh, hell. All right. Once I see a chest, I can't help it, guys. I got to go pick it up. Okay. What y'all want me to do? What y'all want me to do? That's that's just that's a yeet. All right. Real quick. Real quick. There we go. All right. Let me switch out because Numby going to keep throwing me off, bro. According to the map, that's the Dreamscape sales store. Well, why do these look like Pokeballs? Is that a giant eyeball? Man, this is beautiful, bro. Oh my god, bro. They got like a roller coaster going around the place. Wow. Holy. Incoming Nintendo lawsuit. <laughs> True. According to the like suit for less. And again, they couldn't get away. Power World got away with it. Yes, what you got? What you got? What you got on my 40? What the hell is this? Here for synthesis? I don't really know what that means, but it ain't too bad. I'll go ahead and scoop it up. Rusty gear, old. Mo okay, I know what any of that stuff is. Okay. Soundtrack's nice and cool. Not anything again to like brag home about for me personally. According to the map, that's the Dreamscape sales store. Is that? As you near this door, a melody can suddenly be heard from behind it. Instantly, feel like you're being blown at by a breeze. The air is tinged with a faint burnt scent of coffee, making your mouth salivate. It's speaking of which. Damn, that looks good. Holy shit, I gotta stop looking at that, bro. That makes me wanna go order a goddamn double cheeseburger right now. Alright, let's see it. <laughs> 
Welcome to Dreamscape. Big ass eyeball. It's me, the Dreamscape Sales Story. I also go by the name of Dr. Edward. <laughs> I'm happy to be at your service. Here's where you get to experience all sorts of fascinating dreamscapes. From the top-notch productions of Clark Studios to uh, private donations. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. This is your first visit to Pinnacle, isn't it? This this is what Atsu thought Brax was. This is what he thought. When he said weird, this is what he thought. He said, I don't know, man. Something about this guy is throwing me off. Big ass eyeball. <laughs> oh my God, man. Please be rest assured that Dr. Head will provide the best service you can find in helping you purchase your first green step and indulge in an exclusive and marvelous dreamland journey. And that's the end of my analysis. I'm sure you'll be a fan of this dream. Damn, we've been doing this for two and a half hours already? Or no, two hours and 60 minutes? Okay. It's a contribution from an anonymous donor and is said to contain the memory of the fallen Eon Machiavelli. How do you want? Uh, how do you know what I want? Is this the memory of Machiavelli? How many? Okay. Okay, first one is for free? Okay. Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream. Dream bubble? It's a very long quest. Trailblazer from the Astral Express. Do you plead guilty? I don't mind it. And and if it's like if it's like eight hours long, then we'll just do a part two. It's fine. I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this dream bubble. In the dream bubble, you will be living through another person's past memories. You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm putting it on YouTube. I am. That's crazy. You can just... What? You will experience what the original owner of the memory once experienced? That's not a dream, bro. The hell? If any details are missing from the dream bubble, your subconscious will make up for it by substituting the missing content with something similar. Okay, that now that can be considered a dream. are beyond pardon but i respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work give this place a thorough cleaning my apologies when i received this dream bubble some of the audio tracks were missing and perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akavili. Isn't Akavili the person we're pretending to be in the simulated universe too? Am I am I nuts right there? Or is uh like Akavili is another eon, right? That's the eon we're supposed to be pretending to be? Yeah, okay, okay. Yes? Eon of Trailblaze, okay. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akavili. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I may be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Okay, got you. Anyone's voice will do? Well, it must be some. You're okay. Quiet. Please. All right. Make it just. March 7th, Dan Hung. Nah, Dan Hung got the coolest voice out of all of them. Splendid. The replication is complete. To you, as well as the other passengers. Take responsibility for the following malicious conduct. Well, what'd they do? What'd they do? You rode snowmobiles into the Tykean Stadium and disrupted the match. That's what you call malicious. Causing the match to be suspended. Come on, bro. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three. You All right. plead guilty? <sighs> yes, I plead guilty. You sneaked into the high zoo and splurged half an amber arrow. All right, bro's yapping. Bro on it, bro on his Paimon uh, arc right now. You barged into the kitchen. Yep, bro's on his Paimon. I'm not listening the to this. The first one is clearly a result of your own. Ahem. 
Don't get carried away. Jay. I'm there not listening to this. Entire... This 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 shit is yapping, bro. This is actually the epitome of yapping. And that's not even half the list. Uh, sorry. No. Could that be? Of course. Who? That guy who blew. Blew up the train in two pieces. Now that sounded important. That's all for the content of this dream bubble. Quite fascinating. What do all these have to do with activity? <laughs> this dream bubble aligns with what you desire. Hurts with credits. Okay. Bro, this is like a gamba. Almost expected something like this. Dream bubble is indeed. So nice. please give it some consideration. <laughs> Are you going to buy it? Hell no. I didn't learn shit from that dream bubble. They was yapping their ass off. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. All right, moving on. I bought it. Cost 100k. Yeah, fuck yeah. that, bro. I'm broke as hell right now. What's going on? Oh, that's old girl. Don't even think about running away. I feel like this is the you one that everybody wait. thinks is gonna die. I like her eyes. Man, dude, Playoverse does such a good job with eyes. Sorry for bothering you. Please, I need your help. I'll do my best to protect a pretty hey, young lady look. and channel my inner Sanji. Good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. All the new enemies. Oh, Toshiro, man. Thank you for the subscription. Toshiro underscore just subscribe. Oh, this is perfect for uh, Black Swan and Kafka now, isn't it? Waiting means change. Okay. Yeah, they thought they were going to run that by me. All will be swept away by the wind. That's a good track. That's a good track. I like it. I like it, baby. Oh, that's a good track, baby. I like that one. That's a banger. Stay put. Yeah, that's a banger. These are devils. I'll crush them all. The market is on right. Investing in victory means playing the long game. I'm asking questions. Answer me. Free. Oh, so they they explode on the other person. There's more to life. Okay, I'm gonna have to learn all these mechs. Yeah, that was a nice track. That was That's a really enough, nice boys. track. That's the boy! There he is! The retired squaw! Yo! Let me listen to this VA. Hold on. Let me listen to this VA. What are you talking about? Uh, sir, sir, what's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Bro, that is Jax from League of Legends! Huh? Who, who's this? Uh, don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and gray vest. Uh, he's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair, and you guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Bro, Gallagher is such a chat. 
Imagine if I had a real weapon. Imagine if I had a real weapon. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family. And those idiots are some young bloodhounds I've been training. Bro, it, oh my God, this is so cool, bro. All right, I think he's fitting the story. I think he's fitting the character in the story that I wanted him to, to be. I believe he is. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. I think, I, I, so I talked about it when I, when me and Vulcan had our first podcast episode. I, I want him to be the, the bartender who seems completely harmless and doesn't like to cause trouble or, or like, you know, do too much outside of his, his obligations. But he's interconnected to all of the mafias of the city, all of the underground inner works. And, um, you know, he's, he's, he's essentially a gangster that works behind the bar, low key. I, and, and, and he plays the same kind of role that Buddy played in Arcane. The guy who was like pretty much a father figure to, uh, what's her name? Vi and, uh, Jinx. I, if, he, if he plays anything similar to that, I'm happy. The Bloodhound family are guards of the dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. Okay, so not entirely like a, like, okay. Yeah. So, so a little similar to what I was hoping for. Still though, he's still like in a like dirty business kind of, not dirty business, but he does like dirty work. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Yeah, that healer shit ain't gonna never get past me, bro. I'll keep <laughs> the buck. Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? Bro, trying to be a mag daddy? <gasps> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. All right. <sighs> I owe you a big one. If it... <laughs> You're funny. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this Bro, your first time here Every on time they say nameless, I think of Kingdom Hearts. Like every time, I think of heartless, nameless. Though I do admire the nameless. The family invited you here, right? I I'd be happy to show you around. Although the bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. All right. Over here. It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. Watch your step now. Well, now that I know that, you know, the enemies are weak to wind and lightning, I think it's pretty appropriate. Yeah. Oh, looking good. Wait, 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 wait. What's Kafka got on? That's fine. The first stop most 
people head to as soon as they arrive in the dreamscape is the OT Mall. The dream there are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel. Man, let me get one of them shits, bro. Cars. I need one of them as bad boys, baby. Alfalfa coins, you let me give me one of those. Fancy. Items purchased in the dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza. Follow me. I'll buy you a nice meal. Give him a kid's meal. We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, in a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. So what is Firefly's role? That's what I'm, I'm looking forward to say. Right now, she's just some friendly girl I ran into. I'm waiting, to, I'm waiting on the punchline here. Mm, that shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. He knows I'm broke. Oh, shit. Okay, Firefly. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, Firefly. Yes, sir. This is Pina Connie's most iconic dish. Take your pick. It's my treat. So you gave me 20,000. Where's the steak? I want the most expensive thing on the. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now I'm a simple man. You know, let me, let me get that pizza right there. There we go. Yeah, let me get some pizza. Oh, grape soda. Nah, man, I, you ain't got nothing. You got no martini or something? Oat cake rolls, dreamy cone. You know, this not my. It's not my money, man. You know, it's not my money. I'ma just give me a little pizza. That's it. Are you done ordering? I love their oat cake rolls. I get one from here every day. Well, that's why I only have one per day. Let's walk while we eat. It's time to head to the next stop. Alrighty. Let's go, Firefly. Where are we headed next, Boo Boo? <sighs> oh shit, I didn't know you can destroy those. What the hell? <sighs> I dream. Damn, son. That's one fine mama Jimmy there, but God Lord have mercy on my son. Holy! <laughs> oh my goodness, bro! Hold on, we gonna waste the technique point here real quick. Make a wish. Oh, I'm gonna make a wish. Oh, don't you? Girl, I'm gonna make a wish. All right, let's, let's continue on. Lisa, energy for red. That's, That's absolute facts. That's absolute facts. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue. Which is the road to Golden Hour? Looking. What? The budget Escanor, bro. Bro, look like a Zestanor, bro. Where, where's Zestarine at, bro? Bring Zestarine over here and fucking with Zestanor, bro. <laughs> Yo, ain't no way, little man. <laughs> the sin of sex. <laughs> oh here. my Bye. God, bro, ain't no way. Please yeah, come crazy. this way. Let me show you something interesting. Hold up, hold up. What's this right here? Let me get that. Embibitor Zeste. <laughs> of Clocky, Penicone's famous cartoon character. You said respectfully looking. You gotta say respectfully like Mr. Pokey. Excuse me. Respectfully. 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 
Respectfully. <laughs> G- genuinely, that shit is trash. <laughs> it's the oldest oh and most famous God. animation from Penacony. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. I know, right? Isn't he adorable? By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? Who the hell is this watchmaker, bro? <clears throat> I ain't never seen someone create a meme just from talking the way Pokey has. <laughs> I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony, the founder of the Dreamscape. The man who turned you say it sounds Indian brown bros reality. bros Nigerian 100% there are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky okay hold on some, some important shit he was exiled to Penaconi as a prisoner and some speculate that he wasn't even a real person oh he's definitely Just a real a person no he's definitely a real person so some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky okay some claim that he was exiled to Penaconi as a prisoner that seems very likely that seems very likely. He's definitely a real person, and I would argue he might have been exiled to Pina County as a prisoner. But who knows? Mere speculations. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Pina County in droves, they held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penacony knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But nameless. I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. What? After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Huh. Interesting. I mean, there's not many nameless. That's what I'm saying. Your predecessor. Wouldn't that make him I, your I can really did come to my head, but I feel like Would that's you like not to him. Take a picture with him. No, she's not. Damn it! Why did I choose that? I did that too fast. Of course not. What were you thinking? Man, has anybody in here seen the Loki show? That shit is so good, man. Genuinely one of the best shows of 2023. Huh? What's that? It looks like there's something on Clocky's face. It looks like the TVA? It absolutely does, bro. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! Oh, somebody's in there! What the hell? I just noticed that! And notice me, senpai! I just noticed this. That's hilarious. One of the best uh, Marvel shows, easily. Ask Firefly to take a commemorative picture. Investigate the strange eyelashes. Yank. Okay. Okay. Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? All right. Let's cut let's cut all the idle chatter and let's get straight to the point. Really? Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next Oh, damn. So I only could choose one of the options? Oh, son of a... God damn, bro. Black Swan, bro, is criminally fine, bro. Like, criminally fine. I'm serious. What the hell? Like, bro, just, just this right here. Just, just this right here. Lord have mercy, bro. That shit don't make no... Oh, we got another picture? I didn't even know. 
What stands before you is the golden hour. Pina Colony's pulsating heart. Tell me, what are your first impressions of the city? Air stinks of capital. Love hate relationship. No, no, I felt this shit is amazing. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm not using none of these stickers, bro. Oh, you know what? I might have a nice. Oh, we got a separate one. Oh, okay. Pom pom in the middle. Burger. The burger gonna be uh. I'm gonna put that bad boy right there. You know what I'm talking about. Now this, that's gonna go right next to the burger. I want a fat ass cheeseburger with a little drink. You know what I'm saying? God damn, that shit making me hungry. Yeah, we gonna do right, right, right there. Boom, there it is. Fat ass burger. God damn, that burger look good, bro. What's this? This represents a way to make money by doing nothing. <laughs> Well, that sounds nice by doing nothing brother he ain't uh, full screen that shit man you make money by doing nothing what hey sign me up for that it all right okay can claim jades average stall tone a uh, stall wait stall tone stream Bro, I'm, I'm literally hanging my pictures. What are you talking about? This is literally something I have to do. There we go. There it is. Oh, making money by doing nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, bro, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just hanging my pictures, man. That's hilarious. Nah, man, I, I'll, I'll keep it a buck with you, bro. Tech told me putting in that work, man. Brother deserves every bit of that success, bro. Streaming that many hours every single day without fail. It's the reason I'm a wild smack stream. Okay, hold up. Let me see. Okay, hold up. Give me one second, guys. Give me one damn second. go back to this ever since the wow era finished it's crazy consistent oh yeah man i mean dude that shit is i uh, listen man I, I and i can actually say this streamers can't say it because they stream all the time right and people just automatically assume that streamers um have an easy job there's a reason i don't fucking stream all the time man this shit is very demanding very draining checked off the list okay i'll tell you what Let's stop this real quick right here. Just in case, you know, some bullshit happens. All right. <sighs> Can you see that building in the distance? That That's music was the banging. That's famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. Looks really nice. Look at his poster over here. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, Family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. You think it's still a prison in reality? I mean, Aspect, to be fair, like, obviously they're trying to paint this shit like it's the ultimate happy paradise. Like, you know, everything is all sunshine and rainbows. But we all know there's a punchline coming. And there's a punchline already happening in real time. You just have to notice it, you know? But, yeah, is it a prison in reality? I don't think it's a prison in reality, but I think they haven't obviously they haven't completely eradicated the remnants of what this place used to be. And it's very it's very likely that what the place used to be, which is a prison, is is probably 
how do I how do I put that? The political aspects of this world are probably still ran by the very people that made it a prison. That's the best way I could put it. They just covered it up with the guise of a hotel and a dreamland and a paradise. I, th I think that I think that's I think that's my current thought process right now. The, tr the true question is how many punchlines we're getting true. Yeah, yeah. I mean, see, so right now with Robin, like they're showing, they're trying to paint a picture, but I can't, I can't exactly see what the fucking picture is right now. They're still, they're still yapping. I, I need to, I'm, I'm waiting on the Robin punchline. You're right. There are multiple punchlines, but I'm, I'm still waiting on this Robin punchline. This, this bitch is still playing the, just the tour girl. And here we are. The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look. There's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. I, anytime I, like, so when I see those telescopes, I think of Final, uh, one of my favorite games of all time is Final Fantasy IX. When I, when I, every, I don't know, whatever reason, when I see a telescope, I think of Zidane and Dagger on top of the, uh, the Queen's Castle. And they, they, they look outside of the scope. God, I hope that game gets a remake soon, man. Speaking Next. of that. I'll Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth really demo fun. is out, which I'm not going to play because I just want to play the whole game. But uh, I'm genuinely looking forward to that. Lynn Bloom class. Well, there you go. Otaku. Fucking culture, brother. Respect. Uh, Sink. What's up, buddy? Welcome in. Donner. But the IPC used to run the prison, not the family. Um, Donner, uh, fill me in. I already forgot well, what the hell I was talking about. The IPC used to run the prison, not the family. Actually, I don't even want to listen to that. I, I'd, I'd rather go into it with the the current. Yeah, never mind. You can keep that to yourself, brother. I'd rather just go into it with with my current knowledge. Eye opens in the abyss and begins to stare at you. Uh, what's up, Lord? Welcome on in. Are you going to finish the story in one stream? I, guys, I, I wish I could, but I am a father as well as a fitness professional, as well as a content. There's no way in hell I'm staying up till 5 a.m. to finish the story. Yeah, it's just, it's just no way. No, seriously, I, I, I don't. Maybe, maybe like, maybe like I got, I probably got like another hour in me, but I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the, I will not finish this story, uh, off stream. I am only going to do it on stream. So that's what I can tell you. If we don't finish it today, which it's looking like we won't based off of what chat is hinting at me, we will just stream again and finish it on stream. Uh, on that note, I need to take a piss. I'll be right back. Did you that fucking those? I drunk two energy drinks. That's foolproof, guys. These shits, uh, they they went they went straight through me. <laughs> and, de and just in case you don't know, energy drinks completely fucking dehydrate you. So you always like have to pee like 18 million times. But I'll be right back. You can take your time with the story. Do it at your own pace. Honestly, I'm the type to like binge the shit out of a story, and it's like I don't mind rushing it because I'm enjoying it. I just can't because. You know, adulting. But I'll be right back. That damn two? Yeah, I did two so I can really, like, not fall asleep while I'm doing this. All right, thanks for waiting, guys. We'll go ahead and down the rest of this whiskey.
That, that scatter is so fucking funny, man. <laughs> you guys are so goddamn goofy, dog. Oh my god. If you gaze into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. And if you choose to meet the abyss gaze, what if I gaze into the bosom of Black Swan and Kafka? Will it gaze back into me? <clears throat> After some time, the eye closes shyly. Only darkness remains in the telescope. Oh, we got a little telescope. Repair? Occasionally, you may find malfunctioning dream tickers in Pinaconi. Interacting with them allows you to enter their emoscape and repair these poor guys. Okay. Alright, I'll figure it out. Alright, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, I like this. Ah, I see. Wait, why can't I go? Nani? Why can't I? There you go. It has to be visible on the mirror. Gotcha. Gotcha. The new set is definitely good for ratio, but you don't have to farm it if you already have a good set. The uh, the the increase is uh, the incremental increase in comparison to that, and the options you have is not anything to brag home about. Even though people are gonna try and convince you it is. What is this? Holy free, free mo Holy free mo gems. Nah, I'm good. A four star this time. Just one pull on the light cone banner? Just one? Just one, chat? Should we just do one? Just one. Let me get hit. Ouch! Shit! Fuck you, bucko. Watch where you're going. Just one. In the land of dreams, I believe. I will get hit by a car, and for that matter, we will get a five star. And those titties shall gaze back into my very soul. Holy, holy shit. Now that's a cliffhanger if I've ever seen one. Damn, that shit would have been insane, right? Okay, listen, listen, guys, listen, just one more. Just one more. All right, just, just one more, and then I, and that's it. Two. Just, just one more. Listen, guys, 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 listen to me. Just one more. That's right. Yeah, yeah listen, listen. Third time's a charm. Third time is a charm, okay? The third time. Bruh. Listen, 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 listen. Third time, it's magic. Okay? Three? It. It's a, just trust. Just trust. Just trust. Just trust. Look, 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 look. Okay. Okay, this game's just trash. That's all. This game's just trash. That's all. Yeah. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. Moving on, bro. Huh. Oh, there's the song. 
There's the song! That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you sit Then that temple? Yeah, fuck that, bro. This ba is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacone. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called Soul the Glad Lore. Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. It represents the soda culture of Pinaconi. That gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Popular during the prison era. Ooh, I knew I should have reread this. It was popular during the prison era? What the fuck? Invented by a man named Sosa. It was thus called the Sosa Juice. Aideen, or Aideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. They then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. Dude. Call me crazy, but Soul, which obviously is the very thing that makes you who you are, and then Glad, I feel like that's not, like that's such an interesting word. He also pioneered the school of thought known as therapism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle, and just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Huh. They were happy as fuck in that prison. Did you know? Maybe One they were the happy in the original being inside of a prison juice, because the the very beverage they consumed extinct. made that them not believe the they were in a prison. Get a taste of Apocalypse Soul Glad is in Penicone's dreamscape. Ah, oh, what the fuck do I know, guys? Sorry, that hurt your ears. One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Sosa, known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of the Pocho So Glad is in Pinacone's dreamscape. Now this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Yeah, dude, they're dropping so many, like, Dude, so many gems, man. I swear, so many subliminals, but it's... I don't know the whole story, so it's so hard to, like, piece them together. She abruptly freezes. In that fleeting moment... You notice a cautious shift in the girl's gaze, piercing directly into your brow or perhaps somewhere behind you. Where's the syrupism? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where the fuck's it at? Where's the syrupism? That to originate from sweet medicinal syrup popular during prison era invented by man. Okay. Yep. 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 I already seen that. He also pioneered the school of thought known as syrupism. Okay. In which he promoted the consumption of soul glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial, uh, a commercial miracle. One of the ingredients is now extinct. Yep. I know that. And then this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Now she freezes. Okay, either somebody's behind me for real, for real, or that is an actual, like, that's a hint. That's a hint. Oh, hell no, nah, bro. Oh, hell no. Nah. Nigga, this is like a scary movie, bro. 
Nah, bro, she ain't just go back to the... <laughs> oh, hell no, nah, chat. Yo, this is like a scary movie, bro. Bro, that was like, dude, that was like fucking get out. Bro, that was literally get out. That was a get out moment. She like, she tried to break out of the character and then got, got, got fucking pulled back in. Oh, they didn't put that past me, brother. Ain't no way. That was a dark ass moment. That was depressing. Honestly. Oh, look, I got my two stellar jades to buy my extra wish. <laughs> that means we can do another single pull, guys. I think it's time to celebrate. I think it's time to celebrate. What do y'all think? Just one more, bro. God! See these musical instruments playing You're building pity, you know what I'm saying? Human performer in Penaconi? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories and, uh, transform into the destructive dream jolt troop. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. That's a swole ass trash cans. Trash cans be, got, hey, be having all the emotions. There's a ride attendant over there. Give me the bicep curls. Let me get some ID tokens for you. With all the light cones in the banner are worth it though. Yeah, but I already have Dance 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 S5 as well as uh, the Nihility one. My friend's first visit and I don't need the other one, even though yeah, I'd like to have it. I don't need it. I have Blade Signature light cone that I can just chunk on my uh, on my girl, uh, Shuyi. Of course. Please show me your Dreamscape pass. Ooh, my hair's itching, bro. Goddamn hat. Shit. Put the One Piece on. Boom. One Piece it is. name here's your dreamscape pass and tokens be sure to keep a good hold of them have a good time and how many tokens are there and how many tokens are there 10 you may now enjoy the attractions in Penaconi to the fullest thanks <laughs> let's try out some of the games here yo i'm still thinking about her like her little sad face in that Not one moment bro you're gonna lose all of once you start playing <laughs> just try it and you'll yo you gotta tell that's when you try to tell somebody about a gotcha game bro the gamba let me see which one that should we try first shit, man hold on that, i mean Since i see that one right in front of me time here i say we start with the easiest game lucky wheel the dreamy slots and lucky wheel are pretty straightforward we got 10 tokens Hey, if I don't one tap it, I'm out. One tap. One tap. Wow, you won something on your first attempt. Impressive. Man, what in the gamble, bro? I'm, I'm leaving. That shit is rigged. We want to. Yeah, buddy. It was, it was, I'm talking about right here. Pull that motherfucking muffin top back blue. There it is. Hit me. Bro, how you gonna get the worst one, man? Man. Aw, oh, bro, that shit rigged, bro. Nah, man. Man, get your ass out the way, bro. This is the machine. This is the one right here. Ooh, that's the new. What? What? Does any of these got good rewards? Man, get out the way! Oh hell no, nah, bro! I got stun locked. Nah, bro! I got stun locked, bro! I can't go nowhere. 
Man, hell no, nah, bro. What in the number is going on? Robin, get your fat head ass out the way. There's a game machine that has a new light cone? Really? Bro, they gotta they gotta fix some of these glitches, bro. We need some compensation for this, guys. I don't see it. What is this? This is the one. <gasps> wow! And that's the nihility one. Nice. Oh hell yeah, bro. You keep playing. I'll go and get some drinks. Wait, it took two of my shit. Boy, what in the Donatello pizza is that? All right, we're gonna do it again. Wait, oh. Do it again. All right. You're, upon use your next draw for the lucky will in Pinaconi guarantees you a special prize So you can cheat that means if I use this and then and then pull I'm a win What's taking firefly so long? Huh? She's heading towards the bar I didn't gonna keep hitting me with the pizza bro Ah oh, man, this shit is trash, bro This ain't it? Bro, this is it. What you mean? Skill issue? Bro, if we hit that pizza again, I'm ending the stream. But I'm about to say, don't play with me, game. Hey, we made a little progress on that one. Last one, guys. Mm. Ooh. I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Oh, man, I got enough pizza. I got enough pizza. Stop playing with me. No, 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 no. Hey, we take those, baby. Hey, you know what I'm saying? We take those, baby. You know what I'm saying? Next one's hit for sure. Wait, I ain't got no next one. I'm broke. Okay. This is the one. Who the hell is this? Do not hit the entertainment facilities. Family merchant. Go to drunk guy with rainbow vomit. What? There's a drunk guy with rainbow vomit. Drunk guy with rainbow vomit. <laughs> oh, her! Oh, it's the bird. Weren't you supposed to give me something? Man, you ain't give me. Give me some garbage. All right, man. Hurry up. Let's go! All right, I'm about to consume that shit and pull the Muppet top back blue. 
Please do not hit me. Where the hell is it at? Oh, there it is. Upon use, your next draw for the lucky wheel in Pinaconi guarantees you a special prize. There it is. There it is. Wait. Do they all give the same shit? I don't care about that shit, man. Man! All this shit is trash! Man, get me out this damn shit, man! This booty cheek ass stuff, bro! I don't want none of this! I didn't even get the best one. Bro, this shit is rigged, bro. Nah, bro. Hell nah. Gamba. I didn't use the item? Man, fuck that item, bro. Wait, what do you mean I didn't use the item? Yes, I did. What the fuck you on about? I used the shit out of that item. Hey, if I don't win this time, bro, fuck this. I'm out. I'm serious. Man, yeah. Fuck this place, bro. I'm out. So close. Fuck this place, guys. It's rigged. Ain't nobody got time for this shit, man. I could have been progressing through the story. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very... All right. Aren't you a local? You shouldn't attach your feelings to stuff like this. You're right. <laughs> but when people have nothing to rely on, they always seek out things to find comfort in. Yeah, that's true. True. He's spitting facts. This Kata man, thank you for the prime sub. Damn, she keeps a uh, sad panda face again. Closer, please. I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone? Yeah, she's trying to let me in on some shit, bro. Should I lie to her? I am, at least for now. Yeah, that's the better question, because I'm not exactly lying. long scenic route and visited all here we go now we get places, into the meat of the motherfucking suit come on why 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 do you better not fucking well, not. someone's been following you don't turn around 
I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. Uh, he looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large Sampo? palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. A Sampo! Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. I wish this was Japanese. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer. Actually, I do like his English VA too. Guy. It's been such a long time, old friend. <laughs> what a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. I love this guy, bro. Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. Sampo. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped your LO6 open up Damn to the outside. Yours truly. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? What? My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. Wait a minute. I was just thinking there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. Oh, no, guys. Nah, bro. Nah, bro, that's an imposter, bro. That was a guess and was wrong as a motherfucker. That was a guess. You ain't fooling me. This, let me, allow me to explain myself, chat. Allow me to explain myself. Imagine if this is somebody disguised as Sampo and they've been given intel about the Trailblazer and they explain... The person who's giving them the intel explains to them that the Trailblazer is accompanied by a girl named March 7th. So she messed up by trying to assume that that was March 7th. Hell no, bro. Oh, they didn't gave it away, bro. They gave it away too fast, Chad. They're not fully your boy, bro. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo. And I'm an old pal of his. I'm an old pal of his. Nice to meet you too. Is that a smart ass way of saying that's not simple? Come on. It's been so long since we last met each other. How can you just walk away like that? Mr. Sampo. What's the purpose of your uh -huh. visit to Penacony? So is that Sparkle? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang bro. around daydreaming bro. and bro. do the things bro. that anyone on vacation would do. If that is an imposter, is Sampo fucking Sam for real? What if this motherfucker is actually Sam? If that's not Sampo, then maybe fucking Sam is a what? No, don't do this. What? Nah, bro. Now nah, my brain is on fire right now. Chad, I can't handle this shit. I can't handle this shit, Chad. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. There's no fucking way Sam is actually Sampo, bro. 
I might have to make me another glass. I might have to make me another glass of whiskey, bro. Who else would fucking sample beef? That's not Sampo. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, well, I'm about to let me, let me, let me to calm down, bro. This area. Let me calm down. Maybe I'm reaching. Maybe I'm reaching chat. Sometimes I do that shit. I'll be getting all hyped and then I'll be wrong as fuck. I'm trying so hard to like not to look at chat because I don't want anybody to give it away. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penicone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. See, he's giving off. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Pinacani well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. Yeah, I mean, it's a mass full vibe for sure. I just, I feel like it's giving off that playful ass persona as, as Hanabi. What? I don't know. My mic is echoing. Mic is a no, wait, wait. I'm echoing? Oh, you know what? I think I, I think I hit my little, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see, hold up. How's it sound now, guys? I'm gonna need y'all's feedback. Still? Okay. Now, how's it sound now? Same? One more time. <laughs> how's it sound now? I might have to just like reset my mic. I hit that shit and I got too hyped. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. Wait, I just thought about it. That's my fucking... I'm still echoing? We good? Oh, so that's what it was. It was, it was, it was my, it was my mic. Okay. Thanks, chat. Dude, what the fuck, man? I'm out of it, bro. Holy. <sighs> Entertainment for grown-ups? Better, but still a little. Still a little echo, I think? No, there's still a little echo? What the fuck? Hold on, man. It just occurred, right, chat? Bruh. Hold up. You know what? That's what it is. No, no, no. Is there an echo now? I think it, I think my mic was my uh my headphones were too loud. How the fuck is there still an echo? What the fuck is going on? What? Wait, what the fuck? I had additional audio in there? When did I add an additional audio? Okay, what's it sound like now? Bad? What the fuck is going on? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Astro A50 voice. What? Nah, that's even worse. Oh, we good? We good? But y'all can't hear the music. Y'all probably can't hear the game no more, though. Can y'all hear the game? Nah, y'all can't, because I'm looking at it. Yeah, fuck, man. Maybe I just got to reset it. Okay, hey, hey, tell me, is the, is the echo back? What the, where'd this come from? I don't even know where this came from, guys. Echoes back? Lower game audio. Scuffed streamer. How, where the fuck did this even come from, bro? I cooked too hard. <laughs> you had to have hit a button when you got turned up.
it just ain't working no more. Oh my fucking god, man. Rip your shirt off. <laughs> he buys the same one every time. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, bro became a millionaire and never upgraded his mic, bro. I'm fucking dead, chat. Holy shit. Okay. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Oh, okay. Thank Mr. God. Sample. Okay. Chat. I'm sorry, you, man. I was prepared fly? to like continue.